Sony has already shown off quite a bit of Final Fantasy XVI over the last couple of months. But clearly, it's not even close to being done yet. Recently, Sony premiered a State of Play presentation dedicated entirely to the highly anticipated action RPG and showcased over 20 minutes of new gameplay footage. A lot of what we got to see expanded further on mechanics and features that have been previously confirmed, fleshed out further with additional gameplay and a flood of gameplay footage. Here, we're going to parse through some of the most crucial new details that were revealed. The World We've known for a while now that Final Fantasy XVI is not going to be open world, while the developer has also confirmed in the past that the game will still have plenty of massive zones and plenty of opportunity for players to explore. How exactly is the world of Valisthea in Final Fantasy XVI going to be structured though? Well, it'll take the form of a world map, where players will be able to select between a number of locations to travel to, with new locations being added as you progress further in the story. The world map will be accessible at all times, which means jumping from location to location should be pretty quick. From what was showcased in the presentation, it looks like there's going to be plenty of variety to the areas we'll be visiting, including towns, deserts, forests, different kinds of dungeons, towns, and settlements, and more. There are also, of course, going to be plenty of side quests, which we also got some brief glimpses of. Time Periods Every bit of footage that the developer has shown for Final Fantasy XVI so far has hammered home the fact that its story is going to focus singularity on the life of its protagonist, Clive Rosefield, and that it will be covering a long span of time. As confirmed during the State of Play presentation, the game's story will be told across three distinct periods in Clive's life his teens, 20s, and 30s. In addition to three main parts, the game will also feature a fully playable flashback that'll go back even further in time and look at the earlier years of Clive's life and how they shape what follows. Combat in terms of Clive's quick movements and the fast and dynamic nature of the melee combat, it's clear that Final Fantasy XVI is borrowing heavily from character action games, but when it comes to his abilities, there's plenty of high-octane fantastical stuff going on as well, from ice blasts and barrages of electric bolts to jets of flame. Many of those will be abilities that Clive will gain from the Akons he meets throughout Valisthea, while others will be unlocked through the game's progression mechanics. Speaking of which, progression. Final Fantasy XVI might be taking the full action route with its combat, but it is still an RPG, which means it'll also be placing plenty of emphasis on its progression mechanics, which, on top of encompassing Clive's stats and the gear he has equipped, will also be tied to the abilities he'll be able to use in combat. Different abilities will have different characters, depending on which Akon you get them from, and each will have their own tree of upgrades. Using ability points, which will be gained by killing enemies, players will be able to both unlock new abilities and upgrade those that have already been unlocked. Accessories the developer has previously touched on how Final Fantasy XVI will feature no difficulty options, and will instead allow players to tailor the difficulty in more granular ways by equipping specific accessories, and during the recent state of play we got more details on that. Clive will have three accessory slots, and while you have the option to equip regular accessories that increase your stats or provide other perks, as you would in any RPG, some specific accessories will make the combat unique in a variety of ways. For instance, the Ring of Timely Focus will slow down the time every time you are about to get hit by an evadable attack to make dodging easier, while the Ring of Timely Evasion will take that another step further and just make every evade automatic. The Ring of Timely strikes, meanwhile, will let you unleash complex combos with just a single button press. Companions Gathering a party of characters that go with you on a massive journey and can be controlled in combat has been a hallmark of Final Fantasy as long as anyone can remember. But Final Fantasy XVI is doing things a little differently, that it will feature Clive as the sole playable character and won't have traditional party members has already ruffled some feathers in the fanbase, but Clive's won't be completely solitary on the journey. 
Several characters will accompany Clive as companion characters, presumably for specific sections of the story, and will be completely AI controlled in combat. One companion who will seemingly remain a constant is Torgal, Clive's loyal hound, who you'll also be able to give direct commands to in fights. Sid's Hideaway during the recent state of play, the developer revealed Sid's Hideaway, which, it seems, is going to be the central hub location for the duration of the game, or at least a significant portion of it. Unlocked in the early stages of the game, Sid's Hideaway will allow players to explore the area and speak to NPCs, purchase new gear, weapons, and items at a shop, or head to Blackthorn, the blacksmith, to craft or upgrade weapons and gear. You can also pick up new side quests, view information on quests available all throughout the world map, and more. We also got a look at something called the Patron's Whisper, where you'll be able to collect donations sent in to you from throughout Velistia. With more donations coming in, the higher your renown is. Arid Stone in the hideaway, you'll also find the Arid Stone, which will essentially serve as a training arena. The arena, interestingly, will allow you to tweak your experience with a variety of options, including various toggles for how much damage you'll take, whether or not you can automatically regain health, and how you can use your limit breaks, whether or not Torgal is fighting alongside you, and more. You'll also be able to choose which enemy you want, what size they should be, and whether you want a melee battle or a ranged battle. On top of that, the training arena will also include an arcade mode, which will essentially let you post your combat scores on global leaderboards and try to outscore other players. Other Hideaway Activities Beyond the training arena, the developer also revealed a couple more interesting activities tied to Sid's Hideaway. One that we got a look at, something referred to Otto's Counter, which looked like a notice board with a Moogle hovering next to it, presumably the aforementioned Otto. This hunt board will contain information on elite targets and special monsters found throughout Velistia that you'll be able to track down and kill, which, in turn, will earn you more renown, which we mentioned previously. Another character found in the hideaway, Vivian Ninetales, is a strategist who will provide key information on the realm and its many different conflicts, as well as the various characters you'll meet. Boss and Icon Battles Finally, to round off the Final Fantasy XVI state of play, we got a heavy, heavy dose of gameplay footage, showcasing its boss fights with icon battles. Battles between Clive and Dominance were shown off, but what we got to see a much greater amount of was the icon versus icon battles, which are obviously something that have been highlighted numerous times by the developer by now. One thing that looks clear beyond doubt is that when it comes to boss battles and set-piece moments, Final Fantasy XVI is going to exhibit startling variety and will be leaving no stone unturned when it comes to explosiveness and stakes. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.